Hello there, I am Janko with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on uh, the route above um, Nugget Bridge and we visited Bill. We made him, we met him as a fairy, but we helped uh, turn him back into regular Bill, his old self. We battled a lot of trainers. Actually, off screen, I did catch an Abra level 11. So, yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna teleporter. Which we'll need an app for the trade I want to do with to get a Mr. Mime, and that's again all the only way I can get Mr. Mime in this game. So yeah, and I also um, used I think maybe a six or seven Pokeballs trying to catch an app, and I just had to be lucky and just like throw a Pokeball at it, and finally one of them caught it, you know, because Abra's like the teleport right at the beginning of the battle, so and they and they flee that way, so I had to be lucky with the Pokeball. Okay, let's take on the gym though. I think I still have um. Still have trouble cough up front, don't I? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's talk to the advice giver. Yo, champ in the making, let me give you some advice. Uh, the Weedy Misty is a pro who uses a water type Pokemon. You can drain all her, all their water with grass type Pokemon, or you can might use electric type Pokemon to and zap them. Okay, cool. Let's take on the swimmer guy. I think he has like a couple shelters or something. Splash. I'm first up, let's do it. Okay. This is Swimmer someone. Swimmer Lewis, I guess, yeah. He has a horsey. Okay, level 16. Uh, let's go for the Mega Punch up for it, it'll hit. It's gonna lower Trouble Cough's defense stat by one, okay. There we go, Mega Punch hits, awesome. Let's use another Mega Punch then. It's gonna lower Trouble Cough's defense stat again by one. So minus two defense on a Trouble Cough already. There we go, the hoisty goes down though. Nice, okay, shelter. I'm gonna actually switch to um, airbender for this one. Although I could have just fainted it with a uh, trouble cup, but that's okay. I wanna get some variety in here. Guest attack. Or, um, what other, my other Pokemon fight too, I guess. Icicle spear, I think that's super effective on airbender, because it might be an ice type move. It's gonna hit four times. Super effective, yeah. Okay. Gust again. Oh my gust should do it. Supersonic and miss, so that's good. There we go, nice. If it's moves, this can't be. Or that can't be, I can't remember what he said actually. Thanks for the four cents, man. Okay, let's take on this picnicker right here. You can actually um, take on Misty right here, actually doing that. But uh, in the original game, I think for Red, Blue, and Yellow, you had to fight this picnicker no matter what. So that's pretty cool. And I've, obviously, for that first swimmer guy, you just can go around honestly and skip him if you want. But that's okay. I want to fight. For, I want to get the experience. I guess. What you? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Oh, I'm warning you, I'm pretty good right now. I have a level 22, a level 21, and level 18 Pokemon. I have a Goldeen that's level 19, okay. Just use, um, Pound on this thing. It's gonna use Water Sport, which will lower the power of Fire-type moves. But I don't even have Fire-type moves. I need my Pokemon, at least not yet. Great Pokemon that's even a Fire-type. Just keep on using Pound, I guess. Can use to help the lower triple cost defense stat by one. Okay, it's just supersonic on us. Now triple cuff is confused. I heard itself in its confusion, that's just great. She has a potion, or a super potion actually, just to heal up a little bit. There we go, nice. Can just tail up again, okay. Let's try fainting with a mega punch though. Didn't mean to go back to my back there. Let's get supersonic again. Hi, yeah, yeah, you're annoying Goldine, you know that, right? Okay, that's up for the best. Nope, of course not. Jeez. Snap dog confusion, awesome. Mega punch hits, awesome. Goes the Goldeen, yay. 
Now, Dr Drobokov is now level 19. I had to kind of quit my throat there for a second. Uh, we defeated Picnicker Diana, you overwhelmed me. Thanks for the $3.80. Oh, I'm sorry for doing that, but you're the one who's saying uh, I'm p you're plenty good enough for me, even though I beat you in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Let's switch to Giant Green. Let's talk to Misty. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch an untrained Pokemon? My policy is all offens offensive with my water type Pokemon. With water type Pokemon, okay. Let's go, Misty. Let's see what you got. Gas stall you. The white teen, okay. Let's use Razor Leaf on this thing. It's gonna use Harden, though, okay. Interesting. It's gonna raise its defense stat by one. Good for you. Yeah, the critical hit, awesome. There goes the study level 18. And now Giant Green's level 23. She's about to star me. I'm gonna stay in actually. Let's use the razor leaf on the star me. Let's get a swift on us, okay. Uh, Razor Leaf hits, so it's a rough to a good start right here with that. Ooh, I'm almost at fault. Okay, let's get. She's a Vine Whip on this thing. It's gonna. Yeah, she's gonna heal. Yeah. Okay, yeah. She's gonna Vine Whip after this. Let's get Swift again, okay. And yeah, that's basically the battle. <laughs> okay, nice. Now we got party defeat Weed and Misty. Oh, I did actually. <laughs> wow, you did too much. All right, I can. You can have this Cascade badge to show you beat me. We got twenty-one dollars, basically. <laughs> cool. The Cascade badge makes all Pokemon up to level thirty obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can have now use cut any time, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. Team with which is a water pulse. Here we put in the TM case. TM03 uh, teaches water pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Okay, I probably won't have. I probably don't want to. I won't end up probably using that TM actually. But um, it's good to have it, I guess, in case I do decide to teach it to my future water type. And yeah, let's see. Let's check our trainer card now. We have two badges, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go shopping at the Mart a little bit because it's getting close to max money again. As you saw right there, if you saw like 988,000 or whatever. And yeah, that's the money basically. Um, let's, let's buy like 5 more Pokeballs. Super Potions, let's buy like 3 more of this. Let's get back up to 15. Potions, should we should be good at 15. Antidotes, we got 6. Pearl Seals, we have 7. Awakenings, we have 4. Burn heals, let's buy like another burn heal just in case. Uh, escape ropes, we'll buy, um, what should we get on that too? And repels. Let's buy like, um, 7 more, I guess. It's having even 40. And is there anything I can sell while I'm here? Um, oh, nuggets, of course. Yeah, okay, whatever. Cool. That's all I want to do. So let's switch our Pokemon actually. Then we go back to my trainer card. There we go. Let's actually heal up at the Pokemon. I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back. And better than ever. Um, we don't exactly have the HM for cut yet, so we have to go around to this um, house right here. Because down here, I'll actually show it. Is um the tree, but um we don't have the HM for cut again, so we can't get that down. We have the ability to use it outside battle, but we don't have the team itself or HM. I mean, there we go. I right, talked to the uh, police co policeman right there. Okay, um, there's that was miserable rockets. Look at what they done to my house. They stole ATM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on my and I make you or a sand shrew. That cost me. Dang it! To click too fast. Yeah, okay, you're gonna use that. Make your century, that cost me a bundle. It did. Yeah, this house just stays looking like it's robbed, you know? Timaka must be trying to dig their way into no good. Is that a pun? <laughs> it's kinda, um, kinda made me laugh, kinda made me feel bad too. 
Yeah, um, if you actually just walk past him, it's still, she stays like, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to walk past you, but you just have to make a ruckus, I guess. Make a scene. Hey, stay out, it's not your yard, huh, me? I'm an instant bystander, don't you believe me? Nope, you sound suspicious. Your team rocket, of course. Your team rocket grunts, of course. You're up to no good. Okay, I'm a chop. Okay, this thing might know a karate chop, though. Jeez. Yeah, let's actually switch to um, Airbender. Airbender can uh, take this Machop out. It's gonna focus energy to try to raise the chance of a critical hit happening. So we definitely want to knock this thing out as soon as we can. It's level 17 male. Probably knows Karate Chop. It's just a fighting type move and it's super effective on um, you know, uh, Trouble Cough because it's Trouble Cough's normal type and it's actually neutrally effective to Airbender because Airbender is a normal flying type. So yeah, and it doesn't look right, because it just used it on Airbender. I was right. Okay. Cool. Drowsy. Okay. Let's uh go over to Triple Cleft then. I'm hoping you use um Mega Punch and hopefully it'll hit. This Drowsy is level 17 male. It knows hypnosis, so watch out for that. Oh man, as I say that, it happens to Triple Cleft. Triple Cleft falls asleep. Okay, let's use um some pearls or uh, awakenings or a awakening. There we go. This guy's disabled, but it failed. Nice. I like it when your disabled fails. Okay, headbutt's actually a good move. But I did less than I thought. Actually, cool. Let's use one more mega punch on this thing. This guy's confusion on trouble cliff. Does about the same much same much, same amount of damage than uh that. Headbutt did. Okay. Okay, cute charm. Yay. Haha. <laughs> okay, make a punch hits that time. Nice. Here we go. Almost to level 20. Heh. <laughs> cool. Stop. I give up. I'll leave quietly. Thanks for the $5.44, man. Okay, I worked in this team, my soul. Okay, we got TM28 from the team I grew on, which just contains Dig. I better get moving, bye. Okay, whatever. So if you go around too fast, you might hop over the ledge and have to go all the way back around going through the house again. Around here is like another tree where you can cut down, but we don't have the HM for it yet. For cut. Here's Route 9, by the way. Forgot to read the route number at first, the first time. So right here is, um, actually where you can catch like a Meowth, and you can also catch Abra here. But it leads to Pokemon Daycare, which is pretty cool. So I want to show that off real quick. It's kind of in a weird spot, you have to have hop off like 3 or 4 ledges, but that's okay. I run the daycare service. Uh, would you recommend like to raise one of your Pokemon? Um, I think it, the amount of levels it um, gets raised while it's in the daycare depends on like, how many steps you take, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, but I don't have any Pokemon to put in the daycare. I don't actually use, I won't be using the service for this playthrough actually. So just to let you all know. Right here. We got this change just no building you'd be stopped by the guard. I'm on guard duty, gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the the road's closed. Okay. So to get past that, you wanna actually go to the underground path, which is right here. One of the underground paths. Okay, so underground path, to one city to Vermoyan City. Vermoyan City is actually the next city we want to go to get a gym badge and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show in map map real quick. So we are on Route 5 and right here is Saffron City. But if we take the underground path, we can make it all the way down to Vermillion City, which is pretty cool. So let's go in here. Here's the underground path. Let's talk to you first. Oh, do you have a Nidoran uh, female? Want to trade it for a Nidoran male? Oh, I don't have one of those actually, no mind. <laughs> Why did I say yes? That's too bad. So I guess if you want one Nidoran male or Nidoran female, I guess it just depends on... For like, um, Leaf Green, you, the short trade you, uh... To, get, to help you, show up, you get basically a Nidoran male, because Nidoran female is more common with green. And then in Fire Red, it's the opposite, where show up, you get Nidoran female, but um, because Nidoran male in Fire Red is more common than uh, Nidoran female. So, yeah, that's, I guess if you don't want to play the, uh, the the probability game of running into one, I guess that helps you, I guess. People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Um, I never actually go back and like use the item finder, which is an item we might get later on, but yeah. 
Maybe when uh, we catch up all Pokemon stuff, but that's not um, for a while, I guess. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's a berry up here, actually, so that's pretty cool. Here's a citrus berry. Nice. Very worth picking up. It heals um, 30 HP of one Pokemon, and it uh, can be used as a held item and stuff. So I think there's also a rare candy in here. It's somewhere. There it is. Okay, cool. Nice rare candy. So, yeah. Other than that, I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk to Get Party. Next part, I'll take on this route and hopefully get to the Vermillion City. And uh, we want to go through Diglett's Cave after that too. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank for watching again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk Through Guide.